Today we came here to the Bush Wildlife Center in Jupiter, Florida. I actually grew up in this area and I've been here before many, many years ago. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you want to see more from us, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure to follow our social media accounts where we'll be posting more content related to this YouTube channel. Today we came here to the Bush Wildlife Center in Jupiter, Florida. I actually grew up in this area and I've been here before many, many years ago when I was young, when I was a child. So I wanted to actually surprise Christian and take him here because bald eagles are his favorite animal, his favorite bird, and they're pretty cool. They're very American. It is the national animal here in the United States of the United States of America. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to come and see them here in person. I wasn't sure if they would be here, but they are. We got lucky, we saw at least three American bald eagles and there's also a lot of other animals. There's turkeys, there's vultures, there's, there's also a lot of other animals. We saw gray foxes, red foxes, tons of different types of owls. The list goes on and on. There's alligators. They're all native animals to here in Florida and it is a wildlife rescue so they are based solely on donations. They don't take any money or any entrance fee but you can donate with a credit card or cash. They have a little shop at the Welcome Center so when you enter or exit so you can also support them and buy some pretty cool wildlife sanctuary gear, clothes, cups, keychains, all those kinds of things. They have everything and it's a really nice place because you can come here. It's easy and you can see nature just by walking up to it and I do feel a little bit sad seeing animals in cages. You know, I think all animals should be free. Everything that's living should be free but uh, these animals are actually here because they need to be rehabilitated. They're animals that have injuries or they were found in the wild injured. Some are going to be released eventually once they recover and some need to stay here all their lives unfortunately because they would not survive in the wild. 
child. So it's just interesting to come here and it's a really nice place. And I think that's really nice that they do a donation base so you can come and give what you want. Also, throughout the sanctuary, they have these things here where you can read about the animal that's inside. They also have an area for the plants, so they tell you a little bit about the shrubs and plants around here inside the sanctuary as well. 
so you can learn a little bit too it's very educational i see a lot of families here a lot of people with their children which makes sense i think it's a really good place to come and learn and bring your kids or just come for the day it's just me and christian and it's still really nice so it's really open and really nice to come for anybody just to visit and see some nice wildlife that normally you wouldn't be able to see if you were just living your daily life so check it out some really beautiful macaws. They have a red one, a green one, a blue one. And on their little information sheet, there is a map of the world and it's highlighted in red, the area that they come from where you can find these macaws in the world. These macaws mostly are in South America, more like the bottom of Central and North of South America into the center of South America. You don't really find them down in the South, like in the Patagonia region or Argentina or Chile. You're gonna not find them, but going to Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, that whole area, you can find these beautiful birds and they talk to you as soon as we came up. They're very friendly, they're very curious. They jumped down and came up to us and were looking at us and you say hello to them and they talk back and they can say hello too. So I think they're pretty intelligent and I love that they have so much personality all these animals have a lot of personality so it's nice to kind of go around and even just meet individual ones and see their personalities and it's uh, really nice makes for a really nice day Unfortunately, we're finishing our tour here. We've seen all the animals. They also have skunks and raccoons, which I personally think all of them are really cute. I love all animals, but I think raccoons are very cute. They remind me of like cats, kind of a little bit. Um, but yeah, interesting. Bobcats we've seen as well. I'm trying to think. There were just so many animals here, so it's nice to see these wildlife. Oh, there's one's looking at us right now. <laughs> see these wildlife here. It's sad to see them in cages, of course, but at least they're getting the right care that they need, you know, if they're injured or something like that. And I guess it's better than being in the wild injured. They don't have any natural predators here, so for some of them it's actually probably safer. But uh, it's nice to, to see these animals up close and personal. So their visitor hours here are Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can also find a wildlife trail just across from the actual sanctuary. It's part of the wildlife center as well. So if you like to walk, if you like nature, Florida walking trails, Florida nature, you can do that as well here. It's also free and they've lots of parking all around the parking lot. So when we arrived, there was a small parking lot right in front of the welcome center and it was completely full since it's Saturday. A lot of people here with their families, but uh, on the other right and left sides, kind of behind the sanctuary or in front of the sanctuary, you have both sides. There is a lot more parking. So nice it's a really nice place well uh, thought out well put together and we're very lucky we got beautiful weather today it's almost summer in Florida and it's getting hot it's hot all the year really but uh, we do have some nice wind this weekend so it's feeling really cool but bright and sunny blue skies a little bit of clouds and uh, really nice weather to come and do this kind of thing really all year round in Florida except a little bit of rain in the summer so nice time to visit here I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up like button down below and thanks so much for doing that in advance. Also, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down below in the comment section. 
If you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see, leave those as well in a comment down below. I'll get to those as soon as I can. Don't forget to share this video on social media with friends.